God actually, we pretty much found out now that we have in us a whole system to prevent damage, to evoke healing, and to detox. And we found out, um, it was probably like 30 years ago, but I did, it wasn't common knowledge. Of course, it takes time to build that knowledge and understand it, that this is a whole system and it has a master gene that's in charge of it called NRF2. Now it's named because it was part of the blood system, but so you don't need to know what that name stands for, but because they didn't know what it did when they identified it. But what it does is it turns on this body's master antioxidant response which reduces inflammation, which detoxes the body, which actually mops up free radicals and prevents things from damaging you. And many of the things like the glyphosate they're spraying on our food, like having bad gut health, um, COVID, in fact, <clears throat> turn this response down or even turn it off. And if that response is not working in you, you're going to be very hyperinflammatory and very susceptible to severe disease and, and sepsis. And so, um, I found out about this when I was actually looking into vaccine injury and I was kind of looking at the inflammatory genes and then I found this whole system and I was like, oh my gosh, if we could only turn that on. And coincidentally, it was three months later, a student came to me and said, I have some health problems. Someone recommended a product and I know you're a distributor for this product as am I because I, um, she said, I just want to know, is this a scam? Is this worth looking into? And as soon as I saw the name, an NRF2 activator, yeah, I was like, I know exactly what it's trying to do. I know exactly what it's trying to do. And I said, now let me see, is it a pharmaceutical? No, it's five natural products. I already knew that turmeric was an NRF2 activator. It's ashwagandha, bacopa, milk thistle, green tea extract, things that many people in natural health are already familiar with. But they're not acting as a supplement. It's a patented blend that actually they show that it turns on this gene. It turns on this whole, not this gene, because this gene is the transcription factor. It turns and regulates all these other genes. So it's like this whole cascade that God already designed. So it's not like us trying to turn this on and turn this off. We turn on the master switch wow. and everything else goes like it's supposed to do. Yeah. Like, like, ding, <laughs> like all the lights light up, right? Yeah. And, um, being able to turn on this gene and basically prevent damage to detox and all of that. And I was like, yes. And it has 30 peer reviewed publications. I was like, sign me up. I've never sold anything in my life. I've never wanted to sell anything, but this is like being the person who comes out with an iPad, like this is my field. And so I felt a little bit of an obligation to tell people about it because I understood the science. In fact, you may have experienced this too. One of the biggest barriers that we have is people are like, well, that really sounds too good to be true. Yes, like, because it seems to fix so many things because yes. so many things have inflammation at its core cause or a toxicity at its core cause. And it's over time. It's not an opioid where you take it and you feel high in two minutes. It's over time. It helps to detox your body, reduce inflammation, all of these things, because it's this whole master system. And so a lot of people are like, well, that sounds too good to be true. But I knew that it was true because I knew the science behind it. And so I felt, you know, like a moral obligation. I'm like, I'm going to tell all my friends and family members, I may as well become a distributor. I'd be stupid not to. I find you know, the exact same barrier that people come across is because of those studies you mentioned that are on PubMed.gov, they yeah. mention things like ALS. They mention things like cancer. They mention multiple sclerosis. They mention all these big things. Um, and so people will think, well, that's, they associate it with a drug. Like that, that's a powerful yeah. thing. It's so powerful. And I turn around and tell them that, no, I take this pregnant and nursing. I take it, I take it just for prevention. Basically, this is a paradigm shifting breakthrough. And I knew it as soon as I saw it, because we are not giving, we're not just adding something to the body to try to shore up what you might not have had. We are reactivating the system God put in you. And so I believe that this is definitely maybe possibly the biggest breakthrough in the health field in ever. Uh, Washington State University said so the most potentially the most extraordinary therapeutic and preventative medical breakthrough in the history of medicine. So I tell people take it for, for prevention because so many times you you get to a point where you get this diagnosis that seemingly came out of nowhere. And I know if you're listening to this talk, you know someone personally in your life who got a whammo out of nowhere major diagnosis. In just the past three years, I know four young people who got a massive, massive diagnosis that is almost, I don't want to say too late because I don't think anything is too late. But it, but at that point, I think then you're, you have so many things and ideas thrown at you for what you can do as a solution that it's right. yeah. mind boggling. Very hard. 
So mm-hmm. you want to get it in the preventative point. Well, and that's the thing. We're accumulating toxins. Um, I'm sure I probably have some mutation where, because I started on our products and I had to go really slow because I started detoxing. At first I was fine. And then I started detoxing. And the thing is, it's going to turn on those detox genes. And if you don't detox well, you've built up decades worth of toxins in your body. And interestingly enough, like this year, I lost like 30 pounds without even trying. And I honestly think it's because I finally detoxed so much out of my body, out of that fat that it, I was able to lose the fat because it didn't have these toxins. And so I think that, you know, if you are highly toxic, that would be the one thing I would be careful about. So if you aren't all natural and all of those, so I would be on it six months to a year before I got pregnant, because you don't want to be detoxing when you have a, you know, three week old fetus in you, right? You don't want to be, because you will send those toxins into the fetus, but in general, especially, so you want to detox beforehand. So, but some people don't have problems detoxing. So when they add our products, they notice the reduction in inflammation. They notice that it's just protecting them. So because remember, we have so many more chemicals in our environment than we've ever had before. We've got Wi-Fi. We've got stuff that they're spraying on their food. I mean, it's everywhere. And so I would say almost, you know, to a person, if somebody seems healthy, it's like the illusion of health. <laughs> because like, how can you live in this healthy. toxic milieu and be healthy unless you're on something that is um, constantly helping your body to heal and, and detox and protect yourself. Some things that I think are helpful and some of our products have these in there, but it's definitely, you still need, you need vitamin D to make sure you are um, really turning down inflammation. And a lot of your immune response is really responsive to vitamin D and turning off the immune response is responsive to the vitamin D. So you need vitamin K2 with that. So I take like a cod liver oil with high vitamin butter. You get K2 from butter and you need magnesium to activate yes. vitamin D. So um, vitamin D, K2 um, and, and magnesium, super important. I would still supplement with those. And um, zinc also, we do have some products in, in our line. I love our daily wellness because it's getting a lot of that in there and that has zinc in it as well. Um, a lot of these inflammatory processes and our immune response is really dependent on zinc or, you know, turning off inflammation and activating the immune response really dependent on zinc. We don't want to ever overdo it with zinc, like less than 35 milligrams a day. But if you are having problems, you need to make sure you're zinc sufficient. That's the key. Um, the other one that is, and these are ones that I'm saying that I think are good ideas um, beyond just activating the body. Um, or I I don't say just because whatever, but um, the other one is the antihistamines. Many people are actually having an allergic response to the spike protein. Um, There's a lot going on. And for some people, their body, if they had the vaccine, their body is chronically making the spike protein. So even if they break it down, it might still be making it. Like, we're not really sure. You know, and I think that the fact that I know about NRF2 is I just, it's it's a grace and it's a gift. And I I don't know how I came to to this knowledge or how I, 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 I came to it, but I'm just so grateful for it. And I feel like it's given me a whole paradigm shift in my life. And I don't worry about things anymore. Now I just activate these and pathways. The same way. And, and, and I feel the same way. I feel like it's a gift. And when I found out about it, because I knew about the gene, I was like, how did I not know about this? Like I'm a cellular and molecular biologist. How have I not heard about this? And, and then we're finding out, okay, well, COVID and the spike protein causes huge inflammation. Oh, we have a product that reduces inflammation by 40% by reducing oxidative stress. Okay, then it causes enormous amounts of mitochondrial damage. I have fibromyalgia. I've had, you know, m- metabolic syndrome. Basically, I know I've had mitochondrial dysfunction my whole life. And my muscles were so tight, like ropes, like someone had yeah. twisted them. And what it is, is your muscles actually need energy to relax. And if your mitochondria, which produce energy, aren't working, you have a problem. So um, when I started taking our NRF1 activator, which activates your mitochondria, what it does is it actually rebuilds them, it um, recycles them, it puts in new proteins, it uh, makes mitochondrial biogenesis, will make all new ones. And so since mitochondrial dysfunction is at the core of many things like autism, um, for me, fibromyalgia, life-changing for me, life-changing these two products, our NRF2 and our NRF1 activator, I'll turn around and drive 50 miles home to get them. I'm like, I'm not going anywhere without my products. Okay. I'm just not doing it. There's two, there's two people that need NRF2. One is those who've been vaccinated and the other group is those who have not been. So I'm sure I'm, I'm pretty much of the same mind. Like everybody needs it. Like, 
Um, we all live in a toxic world, so you definitely need it. If and, and you're gonna, you know, actually the healthier you are, the better you're gonna tolerate it. But again, what you're doing is you're preventing anything from the future. Like